Hey everyone, today I'm gonna to be doing our debt snowball update. We do these monthly and I just give a progress update of how much debt we paid off. I do these every month to do a little debt update so I can see how much debt we paid off in the previous month and what our debt total is currently. This is for the month of March and we have since stopped our extra debt payments and we are pausing our debt snowball in order to save up an emergency fund that's a little bit bigger because of all the craziness that's going on. Pulling out my debt snowball sheets from previous months, I noticed that I had January, but I did not have February. So I am going to quickly go through the February debt snowball update because February did happen and we did make a bunch of big debt payments, but I don't know why I did not film the debt snowball update. You guys need to yell at me that I didn't do it because I somehow forgot or missed it or I'm not really sure. In February, we started with $24,477.79. Then we made a payment of $47.10. Just so you guys can see how the payments we're making is dropping the principal, I am going to show what actually went toward principal instead of interest on each payment. And that one, first one was $31.89. Our second payment was $328.68. $321.13 went to principal there. Then the final payment was $611.16. $605.12 went to principal on that payment. The end of the month, the debt for the AES loan was $23,589.98. That means for the month, we paid $986.94 and reduced it by $887.81. For the month of March, we started with that previous balance. So the balance beginning was $23,589.98. That is just a carryover from what we had in February. And then we did make three different debt payments during the month, all of them to AES, which is the only loans that we have left. There are three different ones broken up in one account at AES. So the first payment we made was $289.91, and that was the typical monthly payment for the loans overall. Only $164.40 went to the principal on that one. The next payment was $150, which 100% went toward principal, and that was pretty exciting because that hardly ever happens, but since I did the same day, that full amount went toward principal. And then the next payment was $208.88, and most of that went toward principal reduction, and it was $203.12 that went toward reducing principal on the loan. After all of these payments in March, we are left with a balance of $23,090.95. That is the total of all of the loans. When you break them down individually, they are $3,448.63. The next one is $5,594.23. And the final one is $13,904.09. When I pull out the January one, I can see that loan 4B, which is the one that we were targeting, was reduced the most. And it is down over $1,000 over the last couple months. And then the others are slightly under what they were in January, which is to be expected. Then the final amount of the balance is $23,090.45. So in the month of March, we paid $648.79 toward debt, and we reduced the loan balance by $499.53. That is a little bit less than normal, but still pretty good, and I'm excited about it. Since I haven't been doing regular student loan debt snowball updates, I have not colored in my chart in a few weeks or even months apparently. And today I decided to catch up my coloring and I am now at 46.8% of this debt paid off, which means I get to color in a few more of the little icons today and I get all the way to 46 and a little bit extra, which is pretty darn exciting. It feels like moving up a line every time I do that. It feels like I've made a ton of progress and seeing that we are on the fifth line and there are only five to go is exciting. So that is our current debt snowball and that is how much debt we have left to pay off. Those are all parent plus student loans and we are chipping away at them as fast as we can without 
sacrificing all the other things in life that we need to do. We have a lot of different financial goals, so we are maybe not the most gazelle intense, but we are making progress and we have paid off a lot of debt so far. This is not my first go around paying off debt. I did pay off $22,000 of my own student loans, and then I did pay off $5,000 in credit card debt after I graduated from college. So I'm very familiar with how to pay off debt and how long it can take. This is the first time I've ever publicly paid off debt, so it is a little bit different, but I'm really enjoying doing updates and showing you guys that you don't have to be crazy about paying off debt and you can still make progress. We do consistently make progress every single month, and that is something that has been really fun to show on YouTube. In the month of April, we aren't going to be making a lot of progress, and that does suck. I am ready to be done with this final debt payment of my life. We are team no car payment. We're not ever adding debt again, but I'm really ready to be done with it. And in April, we're not going to make a lot of progress because we are so focused on our emergency fund. But that's okay. We will get back to it hopefully in May or June and then finish off a couple different smaller debts in the snowball this year. Thank you guys for watching and make sure you check out this video next. It is perfect for you to watch while you're in quarantine.